nomadic fanatic drops nomad internet because he has integrity. Yeah, and I got oceanfront property in Iowa. All right, it's funny because uh, I was uh, just I was just looking in to this nomad internet stuff because uh, I was going to do a, a video about it, uh, and now nomadic fanatic he dropped them or they dropped him or however it went. I don't know. It's kind of crazy, but uh, yeah, he uh, he did this because he has integrity. I have integrity. <laughs> Now, he's been pushing Nomad Internet for years. Uh, I first wondered why he needed Starlink and a hotspot and all these other things if Nomad Internet was so terrific. But then again, uh, Nomadic Life is so great and cheap, you, you only need to spend $400 a month for several different providers just so you can have Internet, right? Now, I, I'm well aware that he made good money pushing all this crap because, you know, every day. And I mean, he pushed it, he pushed it hard. So yeah, we all know he was making good money, but little did we know how much money he was making. Contract is void too, if he's taking my contract with me and just not paying me anymore. I mean, okay, maybe that's giving you guys a little bit too much information, but I think you figured it out by now. I get a cutback. I, you know, I make some money because they are one of my channel sponsors. They, they were, and now I am simply going to cut them out and uh, be without that source of income, which is going to be a little... Uh-oh. What are we going to have to do now? What are we going to have to do now? Maybe, I don't know, maybe you're going to have to do live streams like Mikey <laughs> and just get on there just to beg <laughs> for money. You can ask your buddy Mikey how he does that because he seems to be a pro at it. That's right. He's a pro at it. But anyway, now... In this little video of Taters, he mentions Creativity RV. Robin, that's right. She made a video. And uh, I saw that one three weeks ago. Uh, now, she saw uh, things change and looked into the shady company right away. So, she cut ties and she said her income would have doubled if she took their deal. Um, I know that there have been a lot of big... YouTube influencers that have been endorsing them in recent weeks Tater. and you know, I guess more power to them. Maybe they, they didn't do a deep dive like I did. Maybe it's willful ignorance. They were throwing me money that would have doubled my income and I turned them down. <sighs> there you go. It would have doubled her income. That's what she said. It would have doubled her income, but she turned them down. Not Tater, not Tater. He needs that cash. He doesn't really care. He'll push any old junk because it's tater. All right. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, real quick, th this is what Nomad Internet is. Now, they had a company, may they still do, <laughs> they have a company that made them routers. They didn't make them. They, there was, they outsourced the company to make them routers. Then they would buy tons of SIM cards from AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. Then they would charge you for equipment and then a monthly fee of 149 bucks. Some people were paying 200. It, it depended. I guess it depended on the area and uh, how much they had to pay for the SIM card so they could upcharge you because I guess they were paying for the service and then they would <laughs> charge you for the service and make a fee on top. All kinds of good stuff. And uh, the claim was that it was unthrottled, uninterrupted, uncapped service started with nomad internet in june of 2021 although it was expensive at 149 a month it was promoted by some of our favorite youtube channels that we follow we were Rick? told no throttling no contracts and no data caps but we did have problems with the performance i work full time which means i have a lot of zoom meetings if i had a meeting john would have to shut down his computer and turn off any other devices like our smart tv we could upload our videos to YouTube, but it would take forever. Most of the time, we had to leave it upload overnight, sometimes two for really long videos. So there you go. Isn't that crazy? I don't know. For me, that's a lot of money to uh, have okay service, you know? 
so basically what had happened was no man internet led people to believe that they were partnered with these providers at&t and verizon and so on in fact nomad internet was a third party and had no affiliation no affiliation with any of these companies that they claimed literally somebody was saying something about how the internet wasn't working they were paying 200 dollars um literally um verizon responded to this like uh to the person who was saying this he's like that's not how we want you to feel are you a customer of verizon reach out to us we'll help you the person responded that they spent two hundred dollars for uh like nomad they weren't getting <laughs> nomad like service internet. or anything and the dude was like who do we contact do you with, like with the lawyer you got uh, <laughs> like verizon or nomad and lily verizon lily came out and straight up said that they are not affiliated with Nomad, that they are not in a partnership with them, that the only thing that Nomad can do is contract services with them like other big network companies. Now, what that... See, there you go. They're not affiliated. All they can do is contract. Say, yeah, here. you. Bought, we bought a whole bunch of SIM cards and we're going to sell them to you. Now, recently, Nomad Internet changed their entire plan structure. Um... And this is where all the big problems really start. There was problems before, but now this is where the very, very big problems started. See, uh, you used to be able to go in and change and, and pick your plan, your AT&T plan, uh, the T-Mobile plan, the Verizon plan or whatever. Well, that all changed, I think, because Verizon, AT&T and all them, they caught on and said, no, 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 we're not doing this. We're not getting all lumped into all this crap that's going on in this big Ponzi scheme and whatever else they're doing. So I think that's when they cut ties. So Nomad Internet had to change everything up. Now, there are many, many, many videos and articles about uh, the service stopping. Uh, people needed new equipment. They had no service and they were still getting billed. Some were even getting double billed, one bill for the old package that they next, and then another bill for the new one, which sometimes <laughs> neither of them were working, but they were getting billed for both. Now, here's the other awesome, awesome thing about Nomad Internet, customer service. You're paying for the internet, right? When the internet isn't working, the only way to get customer service is through the internet. <laughs> That's right. It's the thing that they're, you're paying them for when they don't provide it for you. You have to find another way to get internet so you can get a hold of them. <laughs> the phone number that they have that directs you to the website. It, it does have an option to leave a message and they will gladly call you back. Maybe. So just to recap, you have no internet service. The only way to contact your internet provider is through chat on a website or through email, both of which you need internet. And we were on to a whole other ordeal, canceling the service. It's now January. $49 had no internet and a router collecting dust. Nomad now had two different websites one for legacy customers and one for customers on their new plan with their new equipment. Figuring out how to cancel and ask for a refund was frustrating. Chat would give me a link to the new customer website, but I couldn't log in because I was a legacy customer. Legacy website would direct me to the new customer <laughs> website, which again, I couldn't log in. It was a mess. The most painful thing for me was not being able to call, talk to somebody in person about all of this. There was a customer service number, but you could only leave a message and they would call you back, except they never did. To this day, I've never spoken to anyone at Nomad. <laughs> it was all through chat and email. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? That's an insane way to run a business. Now I understand that, you know, hey, this is, you know, <laughs> the time of the internet. We're not going to pay for you know, some customer service base for people to answer phones when need to uh, just shoot us an email. But when you're an internet provider, I go through this when the, <laughs> if something happens with the power or something, you call and it says, Oh, you know, you can go to ppnl.com and report your out. 
How can I get? I don't have any electricity. Do you think there's a fucking hamster in the on the wheel spinning around, uh, making my computer go? No, it doesn't work that way. So if you're paying somebody for internet and they're not providing a service, and you want to call these internet providers to bitch about it, and the only way to do it is through the internet, you got an issue, right? So now what do you got to do? Well, you have to have your little backups. You have to have either you know, another internet source like Starlink, or you have to break out your hotspot and use your data and all that stuff. Well, why have Nomad Internet in the beginning with? Just tell them to fuck off, right? Now, many people, and there's, there's many videos of people with, with little or no service, and then they're having to send equipment back and then wait for new stuff and, and all this other stuff. And they're getting billed. I've seen many, many videos of people, you know, three months without service and getting billed for the entire thing. And I think this lady, she said she had like internet for like six days out of three months and got billed for all three months. Oh, and, and when you do want to quit and send your router back, you don't get any money. You have to pay for all the equipment. They send it to you and then they bill you for your stuff. And then they say, Hey, yeah, well, send your stuff back. They don't give you any money. You, you paid for it. It should be yours, right? Well, you send it back. Do you get money? No, no. I don't know. It's it's all crazy. And uh, yeah, people still get billed even though they sent their stuff back and they quit and they canceled and everything. I don't know. Uh, some people were were on the on here saying that uh, they had to either either cancel or put holds on their credit cards just to keep Nomad Internet from taking their damn money. Now, with all this, you know, Mr. Integrity, he either knew about the shitty company or just didn't care enough to look into it. With Tater's past history, my guess is he saw dollar signs and didn't care about what he was pushing. He didn't care about anything except lining his pockets. You know, if Robin and others became aware of the scamming, Tater should have also known, right? But again, when you're running around buying motorcycles like uh, most people buy, you know, <laughs> ice cream or something, I got this one and that one and then a trailer and then another thing and this, and a car and, and just running around buying stuff. Yeah, you can't you can't just uh, push away that scammy company because they're bad for business. It doesn't matter. They're lining your pockets and you got to go out there and live the good life, right? That's right. Now, see, I didn't even have the service and it didn't take me very long to hear about it. And look it up real quick. And this was about a month ago that I looked into it. I bet Tater knew and he just didn't care. It wasn't until he found out the CEO left and took Eric's contract with him that Tater needed to come clean. See, he could have contacted Nomad Internet, right? And uh, he'd have most likely got a new contract. Once he was alerted that Robin and others were calling out the company and the other nomad YouTubers that were endorsing it, like him, that's right. He had to act like he was a good guy. Oh, I just found out literally 60 minutes ago, literally an hour ago. No, you didn't. You're lying. He couldn't turn a blind eye, no pun intended, to it and blatantly lie, like he does with everything else. Facebook page. Uh, when his peers, had let the cat out of the bag. That's right. When you uh, say, oh, well, you, you had to have known because all your nomad buddies are talking about it all over the internet. And I'm sure they're talking about it sitting around the campfire too. So you can't pretend like you didn't know when all your little one big happy community is talking about it. Can you now? Now I will leave links below to uh, Robin's videos and uh, the other video that I was referring to. So you can go check it out uh, and click on it and go see things for yourself. See what uh, Robin and other people have to say. But there are lots of videos and articles to check out. Just do a little search. It doesn't take long to find the scam. And we all know that Tater has about as much integrity as I do eyesight. And that, my friends, is very, very little. But hey, you don't have to agree with me. That's never the point here. The point is... This is Blind Views, and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.